Myanmar's military says that it can guarantee that it will hold an election and hand power to the winner. In its first news conference since it seized power on February 1st, General Zor Mintun did not give a date for the election. The military also denied that the ouster of civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi was a coup, or that government leaders were being detained. The leaders are in their homes for their own security, they said, while the law takes its course. Alongside facing charges of illegally importing six walkie-talkie radios, Suu Kyi was filed with a second charge, this time under the country's natural disaster law, according to her lawyer. Two cases against her. Meanwhile, protesters once again took to the streets across the country, opposing military rule and demanding Suu Kyi's release. Railway staff laid down on tracks outside the larger city of Yangon, and strikes by engineers and civil servants continue to cripple many services and government functions. A UN envoy is warning the army of, quote, severe consequences for any harsh response to the demonstrations. Violence has so far been limited, but police have opened fire several times, mostly with rubber bullets, to disperse protesters.